All right, we're starting with a little bit of uh, background on this one, and uh, this is in Turtle Pack, and it is prior to me. Uh, actually, both of the runs in this video are prior to me getting the 50-50 shop. Um, so here you can see I am on uh, turn 21, nine wins, and I am one can away from the 50-50 shop. You can see there the Scorpion is 49-49. However, instead of just taking the 50-50 shop at this point and accepting that that would be good enough for a video, I decided that I wanted to win with five snakes as well. And I think you can maybe tell where this is gonna go, um, but I decide here, we've got we've still got one heart intact, so I'm gonna try and uh, draw or, um, or throw. And uh, we get matched with this team, and I think it's gonna be a draw because the uh, the squirrel has steak at the back, so that works out perfectly. Um, uh, when that actually, when that team came up, I actually was worried I was going to win at the time, but thankfully it was a draw. And then we get back to the shop, turn twenty-two, we can roll down, and we do not find another snake, um, and so we just leave the lineup as it is and hope for another uh, tie or a loss. And we get matched with um, Hedgehog Blowfish plus level 3 Skunk. So that means one of our 50-50 uh, snakes is going to get insta-killed. And all our, uh, our melon gets removed at the back as well. And unfortunately, um, this level 3 Blowfish is going to be uncooperative. And I'm going to lose the 50-50 snipe here, which would have resulted in the draw. And I accidentally win with four snakes on turn 22. And I was gutted <laughs> at that point because I had gambled on getting the five snakes and I had missed the chance for the 50-50 shop. Thankfully, I did get it a few days later, but at the time I was pretty annoyed with myself. Um, but I wasn't giving up on four snakes, but I was um, going to learn some lessons from, uh, from that, uh, that run. And... What I decided to do, to do in the end was when I got another setup going with, um, uh, you can see here I'm turn turn 12, I've, I'm only on three wins, so we're getting into the sort of draw gameplay with the Hedgehog, and we're going up against other teams that have had really bad starts. I decided to just start getting the snakes in as soon as possible, and then I'll um, scale them with the cat conventionally rather than trying to get the, the shop to to 50-50. Now, I can't really remember exactly what happens in this run, but I think um, I actually uh, do do some shop scaling as well. We'll, we'll. we'll see, I'm not sure. Yeah, you can see here what I decide to do is that I give up on the Hedgehog and I get the two cats in. And the rate at which you can scale your team with double cat is extremely high. <laughs> and we actually find another cat here, so that means I can next turn get a level 3 cat. And then I can bring the second snake in. And it doesn't take very many cows to actually, um, you know, get your pets to sort of 35, 50 kind of stats. And here we go against another a team that's pretty weak for turn 13. Much like our own, I guess. Um, and we'll level up the cat. Uh, so we're going for the double cat and I think I take the melon on the snake here because ultimately one of the uh, the snakes is going to have to go up front and might as well get melon on it now. And here I'm deciding whether or not to sell the swan or the squirrel. I do still have three hearts but I think the squirrel is uh, less valuable and then we'll probably sell the swan once we get to the point of um, finding more uh, cows. So you can see what happens here where you know the, the, the first snake the health is going to very quickly uh, max out. Do find another cat and a can. So buying one can with a level three cat and level two cat is plus six six to the shot. Um, so that's nothing to sneeze at when we we know we're going to have to buy three more snakes minimum. And here we get matched with a team that you would think uh, our big stats would uh, easily beat, but actually. I think, um, oh no, we do win. I'm thinking of a different video. 
Because there are some uh, pretty comical runs I've had where uh, I end up losing to the uh, the dog in that situation, but we had enough that time. So now the the swan, the swan really has to go. But yeah, I I was reluctant to do it, but it had to go. And now the cow is going to max out the the health on the first snake, and we actually roll another one, which is amazing. And here I think I take the level up with the uh, chocolate, and because I'm going to buy the can next turn. You can see the snake in the shop is starting on 1313, 13, which is uh, pretty nice. And again, I mentioned this in the 50-50 um, the shop video, but a lot of the time you find that if you've had a really bad start and you're getting to this stage of the game, you're going up against a lot of teams that don't have good equipment. Um, and that's partly why they're not, uh, <laughs> they haven't won. Um, so you're, you're frequently getting matched with teams that do not have melon. So us having it on our front unit is uh, makes a big difference. And here we find another can. Um, although it's not likely that I'm going to get anywhere near the 50-50 shop, um, you know, it, it it's still, um, I don't know, there's just, at this point I'd played so many games where I was trying to get the 50-50 shop that it was so hard to pass up any cans. Um, it, and it kind of harkens back to the days when you used to buy them all the time. It was... It's such a fun uh, fun thing to do. So here I'm just going to work on getting another uh, big snake. And um, we don't find anything useful on that roll. So we'll just keep the pizza for next turn. We get another snake in here. Yeah, on eight wins we got to sell the cat and get another snake in. 25-25 um, is, is okay. Um, if we were going up against good teams... It probably wouldn't be so good, but um, here we actually get incredibly lucky there that all four shots from the tiger blowfish hit the same, hit the snake at the front. Um, we maybe would have won anyway, but uh, I thought that was pretty unusual to see. So now we're on nine, and before I buy the um, pizza, I just have to roll down and look for the final snake. And I think I don't find it. Yep, so we're basically in the same situation again. Now, here I could, I, I think I, I could roll three times, but I think what I decide to do instead is buy the pizza, then sell the cat. Um, so a bit, little bit greedy. And so you could say that maybe I didn't learn my lesson from that first video, but um, we're going to try and position for the, the draw or the loss. And that's why I'm not buying the snake, uh, the steak. Um, because we want to increase our chances of uh, losing since we have uh, three hearts. And I feel like at this point, because we're in the sort of range where you're only going against weak teams or teams that are sort of designed to draw, um, we've got a pretty good chance of tying. And if we do find the final snake, we're, we've got a very strong chance of winning if we throw um, equipment on some of them. So what happens here is... Uh, they again a team with uh, no melon and we um tie with them so now we can look for snake number five again and we're going to roll down the shop and unfortunately we do not find it again so it's it's feeling like an awfully familiar scenario and i'm starting to get a bit nervous um triple melon on this team so we're just going to auto lose i think um the snake is, yeah, level three as well. You, you know, sometimes at this stage you do sometimes face these teams that have just been unlucky and they've drawn against, you know, similar opponents. And now we're back to rolling down again and hoping that we can find the snake. And I get the snake on the last roll. So how many turns was that? I, someone can count the, num the amount of gold that I spent there rolling down looking for snake, but it was it was at least like 25 or, or more. And we go into the uh, the battle and we get matched with another kind of similar looking team to the last one where it's a scaling build, but um, they only have one melon and their backline units are, uh, for some, I don't know why the 30, 20, um, <laughs> you know, that huge rabbit, why is it at the back? I'm not sure what the thinking there is, just uh, put the penguin to the back, man. But anyway, um, there's five snakes done, and if we consult the tracker from the website, we can see that there are only a handful left. So snake is done, and actually shrimp has now been done as well. So I'll link to Flame's video, 
But we also have a bonus clip here, and this is Tiger. And I think uh, XRB got the 50-50 shop here. I'm not 100% sure, but I guess it's the same principle that you're, you know, you're taking the game to an extreme state where there's very few teams left. And you can see there, actually, he was on turn 32, which is incredible. So it also jumps up to the top of the longest runs uh, leaderboard as well.